Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your love. And we thank you for the way that your love lives in our lives and guides our lives and uplifts us in grace and teaches us how to be gracious. Lord, help us in the midst of our love to love one another to love those who are nearest and dearest who you have placed as signs, as witnesses to your love in our lives. Lord, we thank you for the gift of family, that you bind our love together, strengthen us to be a family before you in grace and in service to your will, in sharing good news and in loving one another to display what it means, Lord, to love you by loving one another. Lord, help us in our relationships, especially as we may struggle. For the world might try and tear us apart, but you would have us hold together. You teach us to persevere, and in that perseverance, you make us stronger, give our love character. Lord, we pray for all that comes from our love, and our families, our children, all that extends from our love among our neighbors, Lord, as we reach out as a community to create peace, we can only do this through your love. And so, Lord, we pray for peace in this world this day, that love may abound. Lord, we pray for our care of this earth. For without loving this world, we must love the creation that you have put into our care and commissioned us as, Lord, in the awareness we have and the image in which we're made to show our love for you by caring for all that you have placed in our care. And so Lord, bless us to be a blessing, to embrace one another in the depth and the richness of your love and to celebrate that love together this day and each and every day. This in Christ we pray, amen. If you can't guess by the theme of the prayer, happy Valentine's. And God bless you all in the love you show and share and experience and celebrate in your life. And so we turn today to the Songs of Solomon or the Songs of Songs, depending on your translation. Chapter 8, reading at verse 6. Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm. For love is strong as death, jealousy is cruel as the grave. The coals thereof are coals of fire, which hath a most vehement flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If a man would give all the substance of his house for love, it would utterly be condemned. Contemned. What would you give? What have you given? And as much as we might grumble at times and struggle to be patient and forgive one another, the joys of love are boundless. And the embrace we feel with one another is but a, a mild comparison to the, to the love we have by God's grace. We are given the opportunity by loving one another to be a sign of God's love to each other to uplift one another in our times of need, to celebrate each other in our times of joy, and to, as God is jealous for us, to take those feelings of personal care, and not possession, but of the respect and the, for lack of a better word, well, the deep personal love and commitment that we cherish with one another, to have that and recognize it is meant to reflect and be a part of what God has for us. And when we falter and when we stumble and we forgive and are forgiven, to really recognize too how much God forgives in us. Oh, what a joy love is that we cannot be embraced for what we are greatest at, that we can be embraced for our vulnerability, that in our strength, we can embrace others and uphold them in their weakness. 
and all of this, not to, to show ourselves, but to show God and be that present image of God for one another as we seek to live and abound in grace. May love abound in your life. May new and renewing love be found this day and each and every day. We don't need a holiday for it. We need a lifetime for it. God bless and keep you. Amen.